Hello YouTube, hello Twitch. It is more late night twist for me. It's now approaching 1am. And uh, sorry the variety is not quite there for this because we're playing Priest again, spoilers. And this is because one of the new cards that was added, Murazon the Thief of Time, is the card I really wanted to check out this time. If my deck has no duplicates, you discover a dragon and then deal damage equal its cost to all minions. So it's a pretty good control value card. And the diamond card version of it, the animation is super sweet. So I had to build the deck around it. This meant that I had to start finding, you know, no duplicate decks and I wanted to put in some dragons into the deck in general just to make this a dragon priest deck. So we've thrown in Chromagus. We have Dragonfire Potion as well. I know you're not a dragon, but you like dragons. As your Drake, Twilight Drake. We've got in Future Emissary again with some Dragon Synergy. Draconid Operative, some Dragon Synergy. Brightwing. Uh, the Wormrest Agent, that's pretty good stats. Two mana, two four Taunt, if we have a dragon in our hand. Uh, and then we've got a few other ones. We have the Whelp in here, and Ships Terurgian has made it into the deck as well. Other than that, I've lent more into the No Duplicate Synergy, because we've got Reno Jackson in here for a full heal. During my deck creation of this, I was like, maybe I should put more cards that heal in the deck, forgetting, you know, that I've got Reno in here, so... He's going to give me that big oomph, hopefully it will get me over the line. I've also got Kazakas in here to create custom spells. And then just generally good cards, good value cards, good control cards. And I'm hoping this will be enough to you know, take me over the line versus the opponents. I've also got Emperor T in here, the new version of him, is a 5 mana 4-4. Four, four. So again, that can discount my hand because my deck is a little bit heavy, but not too bad. Uh, and my other finisher is Yogg-Saron, and he's only in here because I opened the signature, uh, signature card of him today. I had to play it, right? <laughs> so, yeah. Now, I do feel a bit happy about this deck versus the previous one, so I'm hoping to go better, or at least akin to 4 and 3. But, man, Twist is a scary place out there. Druid. So I wouldn't say. I think I've played different decks every single time. Or, or against, sorry, different decks every single time. However, my gut feeling is a lot of people are going to be playing Jade Druid. So I'm going to assume you're Jade Druid. If I didn't have the two cost here as well, I would have held this in my hand because you're a dragon. Well, hopefully we can play 2 mana 2-3 that gets me a get card. Alright. I'm going to assume, because there's so few choose 1 cards, that it is the Jade deck. Destroy all means, draw a card for each. Doom. I might need this at some point. I'm actually going to take Doom. I'm just thinking for the future. Oh wow, Wrath. Did not expect that. Also, well done, Chirurgian. You just ate four damage. I should really stop just vomiting my dragons on the board. <laughs> Considering a lot of my deck is Dragon Synergy. And these guys were kind of, well, this guy and the other one was in here for Dragon Tags. It's fine. We'll find some more. By the way, is this a spell druid of some variety? Why is Thanos in your deck? It might just be to draw a card. Oh my god, swipe! Holy moly! That brings me back as well. I forgot about swipe being a thing. This scares me. Please don't give them a, a gaudier weapon.
all right we got the better of that trade i'm gonna hold the charges though because i'm playing as a control deck i'd like to use this to remove minions doomsayer hello Um, get rid of this. Then out of interest, what's in your deck? Any dragons? Wild growth, you say? Sure. I'm not guaranteed from the 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 two mana one two get a card that it's gonna be better, or at least it's gonna fill up my mana curve. So let's growth. A nice bright wing. You ate the weapon charge. Okay, this is why I should have had other dragons. It's my fault. I appreciate that I misplayed it. But, dragon. I, you, I have to. I owe it to the viewer. I think I heal you here. <laughs> Nourish. Oh, that's not too bad now. Man, Ellison, I really respect your list. This seems very... Very fair. Which makes me feel really bad about playing um, eight mana uh, Major Dorma. Hello, Aviana. What is this strategy? All right, here's Coon. You know what? I take it back. You're not playing very fair. They've got lethal, haven't they? They don't have lethal. They do have lethal. I gave them lethal! <laughs> God damn it. I take it all back. Ellison, go fuck yourself. Enjoy the win, though. Uh, I'm only kidding. That was a good game. I had to, right? I completely forgot as well that Aviana had been taken back down to nine. I don't play wild at all. I don't particularly like it, but I do remember Aviana being the the, the blight upon wild. Uh, Morrison, I don't think it's worth holding you. So I was kind of surprised when they buffed it. Blessings to you. Be at peace. Is someone injured? Northshire cleric a card again. I should probably have considered putting in this deck. Do I want to deny them? Draw. I don't care. <laughs> if you start buffing it, then I will care. But I kind of want to have cards anyway in my hand for Twilight Drake. But yeah, I consider putting in my deck for draw. Did they miss a draw? Because you don't have to give them actual health, right? You can just put the heal on it. Okay. Now that you've buffed it. 
It's not acceptable anymore. Man, this Cabal Talon Priest. I might be wrong, but I think in my OG version of Cthulhu Priest that I played back when Whisper of the Old God came out, I'm pretty certain I had this card in the deck as well. I had a few cards in that deck that generated health on minions. And so I think this is acceptable for seven. Dragonfire Potion is coming up next turn. Unfortunately, it's not going to hit the Twilight Guardian. Hmm. All the Azure Drake, it's Dragon Priest v. Dragon Priest. Okay. Oh, Sneedsy, Sneedsy, Sneedsy. Seven mana Sneeds for next turn. Yes, please. Okay. Is someone injured? Good play opponent. Uh seven, ten, eleven. Whack down Sneeds. Let's see what they do about it. I have health here. We'll just... We'll draw uh, Reno. Health is a resource and all that. I'm pretty certain the right play for them, by the way, is just to send everything to the face. And I think that's actually what they're going to do. Uh, Reno? Buddy? It's time to show up. Holy Nova. Is not quite good enough. I can kill two here. Actually, it, that is pretty okay. God, it would have been pretty good for you as well, Morizond. Man, that was so close to stabilization. Hmm. I don't think how I would have played that differently. I was pretty content with how we played it. I I might want though. Upon like thinking about all of this, and card draw being important, we we might want to put Nausea Cleric in here, and a Power World Shield or something. And if we're gonna do that, let's get rid of Psychic Conjurer. It doesn't really help me anyway, and. Maybe get rid of Mind Vision as well. We have so many one drops. Holy moly. Yeah, let's drop a Mind Vision as well. All right, Dragon Priest, slightly amended. Give myself a little bit of extra draw. They were also not Singleton, right? They played two Power World Shields and two... Maybe they were, maybe they were... A singleton deck, but actually had some duplicates in there as well, and just, you know, assumed they were going to draw 
Oh, the game would go long enough they would draw the duplicates. It's not that unreasonable, potentially. Depending on how many duplicates they had in. Or were to have in. Uh, anyway, we're playing against Rogue. Let me try and find another dragon for Draconid. We found no other dragons. The pleasure is mine. Be at peace. Man, one of the nice things about Thought Seal is it gives me an idea of what deck I'm playing up against. <laughs> Fuck you. Don't prep the coin either is my new game plan. I have no idea what we're playing up against. However, I will take your counterfeit coin and I will... Hmm. Do I emissary this instead? Turn that into a 5-6? You know what? I won't. I'll play the 4-5. This is a deck. I guess I'll take a shiv here just for a draw. I can prep Shiv. Not gonna lie, don't remember that card ever existing. Kazakus. The payoff for being singleton. I think I want a five cost spell, please. Summon a five five demon, add two random demons to hand, draw two cards. Give me two random demons, that could be fun. And then we'll summon a demon. This is the demon potion. Kazakus's potion of demons. Thank you. This is some sort of combo deck, right? I don't know what you're doing, but I know you're a combo deck. There's no other reason why you'd be getting coins and stuff. Hello, Jade. Uh, oops, by the way. <laughs> I guess they had to do it that way around. Sure, that wasn't your best play, though. All right. Two demons, please. <laughs> uh, they're the two worst demons I could have imagined. Thank you. Thank you very much. Man! Cazzled, or whatever your name is an acronym for. You fully embrace... What has this been like? 2018, 2019 Hearthstone? With like Phantom Knives and stuff in the deck? Right, I have to play... Well, I don't have to play this turn, but I want to play Void Caller to get out Queen of Pain, sadly. I don't think I've got any other demon in the deck. I could entomb this. And just start cranking up Pogsaron. Yeah, you know what? I think this is what I'm going to do. Let's entomb this. Deny them the coin. And we'll play Void Caller. Not a great payoff for a 4 uh, mana 3 4 to get a 1 4. Hey, and this shift is actually going to come in handy. Sweet. Could be a demon. Not a demon. Also not a dragon. 
It's still draw a card though. I can live with this. <laughs> Pogs are on his incoming. All right, here's all the coins. What are we doing? Where is the combo? Was it just spells to the face? Because if it was, I don't think you'd have eviscerated a minion. Unless they've got lethal still. Okay, I, I think I've, I've got a grasp of what you're doing. Okay, I see... I see now. We're definitely playing Ruin. What was that? Uh, I really want to kill the 4 4. Hellfire will do it. I will take Hellfire. I have to do back to them. Oh, goodbye, Pogs are on. Uh, so far... <laughs> Not great is what I'll call this. Alright, so Vaporize is the... The mage secret. Or one of them. Hard back. God, if I could be bothered, I should edit out the concede and then just edit my own version of Yogg's Run playing game where, you know, he like fireballs him in the face five times and I win. Oh. Another rogue. <laughs> Yoxaroni is like, come on. You know, I, I, I wanted to show off. I didn't even get a chance to. The pleasure is mine. Okay, this is a pretty, pretty aggro start for this deck. I think I will play the one mana two three. And I think we'll try and hold ships to Rurigian. For as long as is possible. Welcome to the exhibit. I mean it has to be Sneeds. I mean it doesn't have to be Sneeds, but it's a really good death rattle. Okay, I get a f the feeling that I'm going for it's a very similar deck, if not the same deck. Considering they're doing absolutely nothing so far. Is someone injured? Oh wow, it doesn't work. They've changed that interaction. So they, they have to receive health. To be counted as healed. Okay. The three five. 
How much do I care about the 3 5? Enough to hit in heal. Right away. <laughs> what is this rapping, by the way, the music created? So it goes like. Skip it up. All right, let's play the power of Ragnarok. Sneeds on six. Oh, a two cost brand as well. It's a pretty good drag. Well. It's a reasonable dragon fire if I want the board state, but I think this is just so much more threatening. The light does not By the ascendant. This is this a free to play twist deck? I think we can do better on the entomb. There was a small Temptation then just to instantly entomb this. Deny them the minion. But I won't. What am I going to do though? <laughs> I've not decided. I guess Azure Drake and then see what I draw. Reno Craxon is here. More sludge belchers. Interesting in a fire. Could also do a, a brand dragon it here. Shadow Step. I mean, I can get my brand back, I suppose. Sprint. I don't need to draw. It's the same deck. I'll take a counterfeit coin, please. I'll protect the seven. And do I want Bran back? I suppose I do. Engaging TC oh wow, MCT. Didn't play around it. By the ascendant. I guess I entomb my Sneeds. Oh, that's neat now. And you've got Cthulhu in your deck. All right, this is... This is deck building. Right, you come back. Then... Coin. Counterfeit coin. I'll take that. Man, if I could only get one more discount on Bran, so that I could Bran Yogg's are on. Sap. Oh my god, I got Cthulhu. By the ascendant. Do I go for this? So on average, Cthulhu does three damage to this, so he's actually not enough. Therefore, I shouldn't, is what I'm saying. I Instead, we Nova. I 
I can brand Cthulhu though to do 12 damage, and the opponent will not be expecting me to brand Cthulhu in my deck that doesn't have Cthulhu in it. So now on average, it does six to the face, six to the minion. And I could, I could have sat Cthulhu back next turn. That's actually an incredibly funny series of cards to steal by Thought Steal. Whoops, gave myself a double victory then. Honestly, I should give myself the double victory then. That was an ultimate form of despair where I steal their cards and beat them with it. I've become a better version of themselves. But I guess I should honor, you know, the tradition of giving yourself one win when you win one game. All right, fine. Tyrande versus Malfurion. My beloved Tyrande. My dear Malfurion. I definitely don't want you. Do I want ships Tyrurgian in my opening hand? I kind of feel like you're in here just as a dragon almost. I'll keep you, but I don't think I'm gonna play you on turn one. I like the thought steal for the, the Drake as well. It's a pretty nice draw. Okay. If I got a two drop minion, I might have considered this, but I didn't get a two drop, so I won't consider it. Okay. I think this is this a new card as well for Druid. Choose one, gain an empty mana crystal, or draw a card. Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm just talking about my ass. I don't remember the new cards. It's definitely a choose one Druid deck. What were the new cards? Sorry, is there a list somewhere? What are the new stuff? Okay, Jades. What a surprise. I'll play a Brightwing. Okay. That is certainly a turn six play. Sorry, I'm trying to Google what the new cards actually are. Uh. Pfft. 3-6 Taunt. That's pretty annoying. This is probably as good as Holy Nova is ever going to be. I wonder. I could also just play the Drake. 2-4. Leaves it with 1 health. And what would I do with the 1? I guess I can Cleric. Nova. And I'll make them want to make that trade. Man, I can't find a list of just the new cards. Is this one? This is one, but it's ordered in the worst way. Yeah, Invigorate was a new card. I thought it was. Uh, sorry, what did you do? Why is there a 7-7 seven, seven on the board? Oh, you played it. That's how. With Innovate. I think you denied me the ability to draw cards. That makes sense. Time. Mm. I was just going to instantly play that, but is this scary enough just to ruin it? It can't be. I'll take the 4-7. If you want to trade, then so be it. I'll try and find a way to do th uh, 3 damage. 
It is a bit of my weakness of this deck, though. I can't really do targeted damage like that. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right. Dragonfire Potion, it would be great timing. I promise you I'm not cheating. <laughs> Despair for Plum Null. By the way, great name. I really like it. All right, let's get Misty with it. Four or five, you're a little bit annoying. I can't deal with you particularly easily. All right. <laughs> if only I put the new priest card in that kills four attack minions. Uh, it, it's not bad. Well. Oh, it is now, though. Oh, God, what a draw for them. Five plus eight, 13. So they could leave me on eight. I can deny five damage, but that's not particularly exciting. I will do my best to save you, my <sighs> Dressed Orm. I don't know if that's how you pronounce your name, but thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Uh, I think I'm a little bit boned here. We could try and discover a death rattle card that is taunt or something or causes death. But I think the best I can do is play Chromagus. If they don't have lethal, they're obligated to trade it off. Oh, another living roots. Okay. Your deeds commend you. Ah, uh, that that was just you know that was a game I suppose. I I got done my priest's greatest weakness, the four attack minion. I I, I can't even be sad that you know they don't give you the tools to deal with them. There are other tools now to deal with them. I just choose not to run them. Uh, also, retrospectively, I suppose the... No, I was going to say the 7-7 seven, seven I should have just cleared immediately, but... It still wouldn't have changed the result from the way it went. I, I just got screwed by them clearing Mistcaller off. Drawing three cards, getting Living Roots. Exactly. Your path has brought you here. Okay, do I want Drake in hand? Uh, I think with this hand, yeah, it's two cards that discover me another card. So I'm going to have a pretty decent hand size by turn four. Hmm. So Runic Egg I can pop with my own uh, Dragonfire Potion, but it's a, obviously not a great solution. What? You know what? I'll take Moat Lurker. Not a great selection, though. I guess if they're running some Death Rattles, like it's like Sylvana. Sylvana? Sylvana High Main, even. It's not the worst thing to lurk.
You kind of have to go. <laughs> I, I love the way... Remix it! Anyway, let's go through this. And if you want to give me a bunch of cards, I would appreciate it. It is Face Hunter. Okay. Again, I, if you want to play a secret deck in Twist, now is the time to play it because I don't know what secrets are in the the pool right now. Like I didn't know Freezing Trap was still in the pool. I could have guessed by the way they did it, but. I didn't know if it was like explosive trap and they made a little bit of a faux pas. <laughs> Always Leoc. Either way, I'm content. Two six damage coming in. Play good old Twilight Drake. <laughs> Alright, this is all going face, I think. Ooh. Again, Drake... Not Drake Fire Amulet. Uh, Dragonfire Potion. Would be a great time for you to show up. I promise you, <laughs> uh, hmm. I, I don't know someone at Hearthstone HQ. But man, this is good old fashioned face hunter. Okay, I think it's time to make a Kazakas potion. And we might just want the one cost spell this time. Hmm. I'll take Demon. That's what I was looking for. And Fellstalker. Uh, honestly, my hand is not that good, except for Pogseron. I uh, will heal, though. You know what? It's a pretty aggressive deck. They will have five damage to the face if they have a beast, right, in their deck. So we could get burst down for 11 fairly easily. No. Well. What's in Brightwing? We are now. Hello, Medivh is in Brightwing, apparently. Uh, that's not a good moat lurker target. I guess we trade. Also order now because of this. A dirty rat. Kill command was what I was thinking of, by the way. Uh... They've got skill command, haven't they? 
Nope, two hounds and a button. Ah, oh, pain. Right wing, you let the team down. Alright, we'll give it one more of the the Singleton drag, Dragon Priest. I really want to play the new card. I've still not had a chance to. The new Murazond. I think other things I could potentially do towards this deck. I, I think retrospectively, Singleton Dragon Priest is not the best of ideas. Some of the dragons aren't quite up to snuff as a singleton. And I think removing that kind of restriction I've put on the deck would then allow me to play more cards that heal me and give me a bit more sustain. So I got rolled by a shaman before, and it was a very tokeny deck. I'll keep ruin, but they probably won't get big enough for ruin. Hello, Dragonfire. Like emissary is not particularly good in a singleton dragon deck. Now just a pure dragon deck. Yeah, fine. I'm, I'm getting that sinking feeling. You know what? Have another one. It's on the house. So Kazakis are probably going to make the five cost potion this time. I'm probably looking for some sort of damage across the board. Okay, Jade Shaman. I think I want the minions on board, and I'll take a fell bloom. That's a decent potion. It will kill my Kazakus though. Never mind. I'll give you one of these. <laughs> Makes me feel less bad about this play now. Three, three already coming out with these guys. Uh... I don't know if dragons in hand either. Nova. Uh... No, let me just kill this. I know the temptation as well to leave the minion up, but I think I'm going to inner fire this next turn, so. Uh, Dress, yeah, I've got a 10 minute time on my follow thing just in case, you know, you get any bots that come in. It's typically safe to have like an X amount of time, just a small amount of time. I think 10 minutes are the smallest you can have it at. Alternatively, you get people like trying to, you know, sell stuff and going to like corn websites and stuff. So you just ban them. Yeah, it, probably at this point, I could just ban them in time. But without moderators and stuff, I'm like the only mod. I typically just have it that way to fend them off. Okay. Sorry, what did you do? You devolved me. 
It's still not in a bad in fight uh, in the fight to turn into a four four. What's in Brightwing? What's in the creator? That changes my line. You like small streamers and you don't advertise yourself. You know what? I respect that because I know some streamers get really like salty about it, but I, I don't know at the point yet where I get salty about it. Just having someone in the chat, you know, chatting, uh, it's more good for me than not, so. What games do you play out of interest dressed on your stream? Pogseron is coming. Uh, it's a pretty good dragon fire here. It's a shame it trades my minions off, but I do get the Nerubian from it. I guess the ruin is fine. Takes out the two fives. And I could leave the 4-3. And I might just play you as a 4-4, honestly. You play League of Legends and Hearthstone soon. Pokemon Black. Fire Emblem. An Epic Seven. I've not ever heard of Epic Seven before. I've heard of all the other ones. I'm not a big player of MOBAs. I played a bit of Dota like back in the day, but I hated it the entire time. It was only because my friends played it that I played it. So uh, <laughs> I have scars from playing Dota, honestly, at this point. As I imagine a lot of people do. Oh, it's like Genshin. All right, I know what you mean. And I, I do enjoy Pokemon games, so I've got a YouTube channel of the same name, and I've played some of the Pokemon games on there. Black not being one of them, funnily enough, because Black is not one of my favourite ones. I, I, I don't know why. Some people really love Pokemon Black. It never did it for me. I should have played that to the left of the totem, then that was dumb. Pearl and Emerald, the top tier. Yeah, I agree with that. I think my favorite would be like Diamond and Pearl. I, I definitely prefer the sprite Pokemon games versus the... The now, like, you know, 3D ones, like... I was going to say Sun and Moon, but that wasn't one of them. Scarlet and Violet and... Sword and Shield, that's where I was going up to. You hope Scarlet lives up to the hype. I played some Violet. Honestly, I like the new generation of Pokemon. The design is really cool. I, I Again, I just prefer in sprite work. But maybe that's just me. Like, fairly recently, I played a ROM hack called Pokemon Unbound. I don't know if you've heard of it or seen anyone else play it. It's by far and away the best Pokemon game I've ever played. And now, whenever new Pokemon come out, I just get happy that I know that these are going to come into ROM hacks in the future. It's kind of twisted. Anyway, what am I doing here? Holy Nova is reasonable. Four Holy Nova, one. I'm not holding a dragon, but... Tempo? They only have one card. You emulate black? Yeah, I don't, like, blame you or anything for that. Nintendo made it about as hard as is humanly possible to keep playing their games as, you know, future generations went on. 
I don't know what, like, it just didn't do it for me with Blat. I, I'm trying to think, some of the Pokemon I didn't super love, especially I think some of the early game Pokemon in that game weren't particularly great. Like, I vaguely remember trying to use, I think it's called Lyopard or Lyopard in that game, and it just has, like, garbage stats. This is the, the most cursed board. Okay, I'm gonna play Pogsaur and just pray. Yeah, I have no attack damage, it's just trash. Well. I'm now playing Secret Priest, apparently. Goodbye, Yogg. Oh, come on, order! I could have vanished my Yogg and played it again. Yeah, Purloin is the first iteration. The only thing that game's got going for it is the Drill Ball, like, evolution line it is one of the coolest ones, and that Pokemon is just insane. I love playing with that Pokemon. But other than that, I don't have particularly fond memories of the game. You like Rock and Roller? No, oh, the, the Glory Hole Pokemon. <laughs> Sorry, but, you know. It is just a hole. It's just a wall hole. Hopefully I've not spoiled that for you, but... Yeah. I just hope I haven't spoiled it for you. I think I'm going to clear this. I assume Bloodlust is... in here. I did that in order as well. Should have played that first since it's not hit by Dragonfire. I missed that on one health. <laughs> All right, that's a bit unlucky for them. I'm willing to keep you stealthed. All right. So it's Hex who we're holding this whole time. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Considering taking it out of stealth now. They have no cards in hand. Once it evolves, it's better. Yeah, I remember the picture. I'm really bad with names, but Pictorial, I know what it evolves into. Oh my god, it's the first time I can play Morizond. It's all other minions, though, which is a little bit scuffed right now. I could even Bran it. It's the wrong play, though. I can't heal that, good point. Yeah, I, I think around Pokemon Black though is during the time where like rock was, or rock typing is really rough, right? It doesn't have that many things going for it. You know, like high defense stats, but then every single thing that's like a special attack and is like super effective against it, it's just a bit brutal. I didn't get to play the card. Natalie or whatever it's called from the new generation, I I heard brought back a bit of a renaissance for playing rock type Pokemon, at least competitively. Anyway. That's Singleton Dragon Priest. 
Uh, dress since I think this is the first time you're here. Just to let you know, I record my YouTube VOD at the same time, so I'm just going to say goodbye to the YouTubers right now, and we're going to move on to potentially a different deck. So, goodbye YouTube, and we're going to keep going Twitch. Goodbye.